I'm reading this. Uh, try some scratchy notes that I put down this morning. Thoughts I'm trying to put together to finish this up. Uh, I was wondering, thinking about Mother's uh, religious uh, affiliations and so forth. I know she was raised Episcopalian and as I understand it attended Choose Landing Episcopalian Church and she married dad who was Episcopalian uh, neither one of them attended church much uh, as we were growing up they made sure we got there for Sunday school and so forth but that was about it I know mother did make the remark uh, in her later years years a few years before she died that if she had her life to live over she would have be, uh, been a Quaker and, and joined the Friends. Anyway, her spirituality reached in many directions. She opened her heart and her door to many in need. There was Aunt Mary who was old and crippled by arthritis who lived with us many years. Then later my grandmother Buell lived with us. At one point in time, 1944 and 1945, there were nine people living in our house. Uncle Lewitt, Dad's brother, Grandmother Buell, Aunt Mary, Rebecca, Mother, Daddy, Judy, Clem's wife, and their baby, and I. That was in Portsmouth, Virginia. When I was small, during the early 30s, many vagrants or unemployed looking for work would come by the house. Mother would invite them in and sit them down to a hot meal before they were on their way. Many of them returned the favor by doing some chore around the yard. Those were depression years, and luckily we were better off than many because patients who couldn't, could not pay their bills would do other things. A seamstress would help by sewing, electricians and plumbers by servicing the house, farmers by bringing eggs and chickens, it was the barter system that actually kept us going. Uh, offhand, I think I have about covered most everything. Uh, in Mother's later years, she'd had a, a stroke and was confined. This was after Dad died, probably 1975, was confined, 1974, confined to bed and chair and required nursing care um, around the clock till she died at the age of 88 and um, it was 1977 I believe. Anyway, I did at one point I was over to visit mother and uh, she sat there and I was talking about something or other. I had, I had no idea what it was. And she finally smiled or laughed. A little giggle. Like, and I thought, oh, you know, this was so beautiful. And so, poem. It's called Stolen Moment. A poem that I wrote to Mother after seeing her smile about a certain memory. I saw my mother laugh tonight. I watched her faded eyes, so afraid and sad for no tomorrow, slowly crinkle up, then wrinkle up, like an exquisite Victorian fan folding and unfolding to conceal a blush from yesterday. I saw my mother laugh tonight. I watched her eyes, so still, fill with tears of joy, bubbling as a newborn meadow spring then flowing and rushing forth a fresh mountain stream washing winter away. I saw my mother laugh tonight. I watched her mouth too long set with too much bitterness, too much pride, quiver then spread from corner to corner, a full-blown rose awakened to summer. I heard my mother laugh tonight I heard her heavy sighs for no tomorrow become shaken, stifled, and smothered, conquered by a lilting ripple of melody, angelic fingers running down a celestial harp. I saw my mother laugh tonight. I heard my mother laugh tonight. 
yet I cannot recall what funny memory we summoned back from time. I cannot remember what funny story stole her constant thoughts of death, what funny, funny story filled her briefly with refreshing breath. But this I will remember. My mother laughed tonight. It was written in 1974. Okay, Herb, that's about it. And I hope you can pick and choose from what I have uh, read to you here on uh, the tape. I really was a lot easier to do than trying to write it all out, either in longhand or on a broken typewriter. <laughs> but um, it would be so nice if we could all get together for a visit. How about a Clement reunion? 